Okay, this is a sample for Peak Equivalent Symmetry Disjunctive Logic 8i. For this one, um, we actually did it straight off of what the typical stimuli sample was off of here, but you could basically teach anything. Um, so for this one, you're gonna have for your stimuli A, for example, we have pet, rainy day, and blue, which would be equal to house, sunny day, or cyan. And then something that would be not the same would be wild animal nighttime and red um and i would go look at this demo i think it's a lot easier seeing this one kind of in person but basically you're going to do three blocks train you're going to um, train them to know that pet is the same as house animal rainy day is the same as sunny day blue is the same as cyan one block of ten then your next block is going to be your train from you're going to train b or c so you're going to say either house animal or wild animal is true if it is not wild animal, then what is it? And your idea is that when you get to test your third block of 10 trials, you're gonna say the same thing and what you want them to do is to go all the way back to giving us A. So we want them to say pet, rainy day, blue as their response. So what we might do is say, you know, either house animal or wild animal is true. If it is not wild animal, then what is it? They're probably gonna say house animal. And then you could say, what else could it be? and they would hopefully say pet. That would give them the 10. So saying house animal isn't incorrect, but it's not gonna give them a 10. What else could it be is what you need so you can get them to A. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, this is Peak Equivalence Symmetry Disjunctive Logic 8i.